Hello all, welcome to Gagi classes. I am Kumar Sharma the side and here I am going to begin a series of lectures for all those who are preparing for UPSC mains and the subject which I opt specifically is English literature which is my core subject. Anyways, without taking much of your time, I am jumbling directly towards the topic. So, uh, before going to begin any lecture or any video regarding the topics, here I would like to share with you all the main syllabus of English literature. So, here as you could see, our syllabus is divided into two parts, the paper 1 and the paper 2. Paper 1 consists the period from 1600 to 1900 and paper 2 consists the period from 1900 to 1990. So in these two papers our syllabus is divided. Further, as you could see we are leading towards the paper 1. The paper 1 having various periods in which the topics are given. So the first period is the Renaissance, Elizabethan, Jacobian drama, metaphysical poetry, the epic, the mock epic, neoclassicism, sat neoclassicism, satire, the romantic movement, the rise of the novel and the Victorian age. So these are the periods which are given into the paper first. Later on, while we are moving towards the section A of paper 1. So the first topic of section A is William Shakespeare's two drama, King Lear and the Tempest. King Lear is a tragedy and the Tempest is a tragic comedy. William Shakespeare basically wrote various, uh, various dramas and in four genres he wrote his dramas. So the genres are uh, tragedy, comedy, history and tragic comedy. So among all those dramas these two are very eminent. Later on while we are moving towards John Donne, John Donne was a poet and he wrote many poems. Uh, the first poem is Canonization. Dead be not proud, the good morrow, on his mistress going to bad, and the relic. So these are all poems which are written by John Donne. And of course, these all poems are metaphysical poems. But what is metaphysical poetry? I will definitely let you know in our upcoming or further coming videos. Next one is John Milton. John Milton wrote Paradise Lost in 12 books. 12 epic poems. Among those uh, 12 books, we will study only uh, 4. The 1st, 2nd, 4th and ninth. So these we will study in our upcoming videos. Next one is uh, Rape, of the, uh, Rape of the Lock by Alexander Pope, which is a more heroic epic poem. Very much interesting and so funny to read. Alright. Later on, we are moving towards William Wordsworth, the, the romantic poet who belongs to the elderly romantic poets. So he wrote many poems. Among them, these are the famous. Odd on Intimation of Immortality, Then Turn Away, Three Years She Grew, She Dwelt Among Untrodden Ways, Michael, Resolution and Independence, The World is Too Much With Us. The World is Too Much With Us is a sonnet. And what is sonnet? I will let you know in our upcoming videos. Next one is Milton. Thou shouldest be living at this hour. This is dedicated to John Milton, written by William Wordsworth. And upon Westminster Abbey. So these, uh, sorry, upon Westminster Bridges here. So these are the poems which are written by William Wordsworth. Okay. Later on, we will move towards Alfred Tennyson's In Memoriam and Henrik Ibsen's A Doll's House. A Doll's House is a play by Henrik Ibsen. Now, later on, we are moving towards the section B of paper 1. So, the first topic is Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travel. Gulliver's Travel is a well-renowned work by Jonathan Swift about which you heard somewhere. Next is Rain Austin's Pride and Prejudice, Henry Fielding's Tom Jones, Charles Dickens Hard Times, George Eliot's The Mill on the Flows, and Thomas Hardy's Tess of the Urbivalis, Mark Twain's The Adventure of Huckleberry Finn. 
so these all are novels which are written by these eminent writers or the novelist now we are moving towards the paper second paper second is also about the periods having uh, many periods about which the topics are given so here so here the first period is modernism modernism poets of the 30s the stream of consciousness uh, novels stream of consciousness is genre in which the novels are written there are various novels into into the genre which are written next is absurd drama absurd drama and later on colonialism post colonialism indian writing in english marxist psychoanalytical and feminist approaches to literature post modernism so these are the periods in which the paper second is given later on we are moving towards the section a of paper second so the first topic is wb yeats's poem so the first poem is yester 1916 the second coming a prayer for my daughter sailing to byzantium the tower among school children leda and swan meru lapsi lazuli the second coming later on last one is the byzantium so these are the poems which are, are written by wb yeats the eminent writer of modern era next we are moving towards ts eliot's works so the first poem of ts eliot is the love song of j alfred prufrock journey of the magi and burn not on so these are written by ts eliot a very well renowned poems though he wrote various poems but among those these three are very well renowned next one is w h auden another well renowned poet of the era the first one is partition partition is a poem all about india and pakistan partition there was a fellow who walked away from india after dividing the country into two parts so we'll study about it in detail next is muses de des muses de box uh, arts in memory of w b h lay your sleeping head my love the unknown citizen and the last one is consider so these are the poems which are written by w h auden uh actually there are more poems which are written by her and given to the syllabus the mandus at infants the shield of achilles september 1 1939 and petitions so these all are written by w h auden though he wrote many poems but among those these are the well renowned which are given into the subject or syllabus next one we are moving towards uh, john osborne's look back in anger look back in anger is a play by john osborne next one is samuel beckes waiting for godot these two are plays next we are moving towards a poet uh, philip larkin his poems are next please deception afternoon days mr blanney so these are the poems which are written by philip larkin about which we will stu uh, will study later on next we are moving towards the indian writers who wrote in english so among them the well renowned is ak ramanujan ak ramanujan's uh, poems the first one is looking for a cousin on a swing a river of mother among other things love poem for a wife one first small scale reflection on a great house and another poem is obituary so these are the uh, topics which are given in the section a of paper second now we are leading towards the section b of paper second so the first one is joseph conard's lord jim james joyce's portrait of the artist as a young man d h lawrence's sons and lovers e m foster's a passage to india virginia woolf's Ms. mrs dolloway raja rao's kantapura and v s naipaul's a house for mr biswas raja ram and v s naipaul these both are indian writers who wrote in english so these this is our whole syllabus about which we will study in our upcoming videos and i'll definitely let you know each topic in each video in depth so thank you so much for watching my video and if you are having any conceptual idea uh, and you want to share with me all those you can comment me below and for further details or further upcoming videos you have to subscribe do like and comment uh, my channel or my video
Thank you so much.